What's up you guys, it's Brennan here. In today's video, I'm gonna break it down for you guys exactly a step-by-step -step way to get your music onto Spotify. I've had a lot of friends of mine ask me exactly how I went about doing that, and I'm gonna break it down for you guys today. Let's get started. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do new videos every single week. I play piano, I do music, I do how-tos, things like that. Okay, so the thing about Spotify is you have to have what's called a distributor um, in order to get your music onto the platform. So the first thing that you need in order to get your music onto Spotify is a distributor. The one that I personally use and I think is the best is called DistroKid. Um, it is about like $36, I think a year to have the membership for the full benefits. I think that that is the one that you should get it's definitely worth it. So that is the first thing you need is to get DistroKid. So the second thing that you need is a high quality recording of your music. So there's a couple different ways you can go about doing that. You can either have a music software, which is what I do. I have Logic Pro 10, which is the software um, that goes with Apple Music. Um, I think it's great. It's about $200, so it is a, a big investment, but it is worth it. So you either need to have that software or an access to a studio. Like, I don't know if you have friends who have studios or if you could go to a recording studio to record your track. You're gonna need that because Spotify only accepts high quality recordings of songs. Whereas SoundCloud, for instance, I was posting my music on SoundCloud before Spotify and they allow more, you know, like MP3 files and things like that. They aren't that high quality um, and they would allow it on SoundCloud, whereas Spotify only lets you have high quality recordings. So you're gonna need access to that somehow. That is my second tip. So this is sort of a separate but related point is I would highly recommend um, if you're like a burgeoning artist or you're, you're just starting out to get high quality photographs of yourself for your Spotify page. So you can reach out to photographers you like or friends of yours that do photography. That's what I did. That's the cheaper route for sure. Um, and you get them to take high quality photographs of you so that you can put that on your Spotify page. So you need to have those photos and you also need to have a biography about yourself. So get going on that and write that about yourself or get someone to write it about you um, to post on your Spotify page. Okay, so with all those tips in mind, I'm actually gonna take you guys through, I'm gonna screen record exactly the steps using DistroKid and Logic Pro 10 to get your music onto Spotify. I'm gonna show you the exact steps how exactly I do it um, because there are some software things that you need to know that I learned the hard way um, from watching tutorials and things like that in order to make it an actual good file so let's get right into that portion of this video okay so the first thing you need to do is go to the end of your recorded song and make sure that you trim the measures down to where your actual song ends. See how you can add all these extra measures? You need to trim it down or else you're gonna take a bunch of empty space onto your recording, if that makes sense. You just wanna have it to where it's actually the length of your song, see here? So you trim that down. Now you're gonna go to File, then go down to Bounce, Project or Section. Then you're gonna hit PCM, wave file, and then you're gonna hit 24 bit. And then you click bounce. Then you're gonna save it onto your desktop. Just make sure to title it with your title so you can remember where to find it. Okay, so now it's gonna bounce your file. Just make sure that you don't do anything while it's doing this because you don't want to mess with the file um, but it's gonna just go ahead and load here okay so now you're gonna go and open up DistroKid and you're gonna go to upload 
and then you're gonna just fill in the data here one thing is remember to do it three weeks at least into the future I'll be explaining that in another video about how to pitch your song to a playlist um, and you're gonna know why it's important to do it at least three weeks into the future uh, then you're gonna do your artwork you're gonna upload that and selecting your genre of what type of music you have a subgenre if needed and then you're gonna put the title in of your song Now you go to your file on your desktop that you saved of the song. Desktop, here you go, and then bam, uploaded. And then you click whether or not it's music or lyrics or both. And then you fill in the rest of the stuff. And bada bing, bada boom, you now have your Spotify song on DistroKid.